Since the discovery of Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object detected in 2017, the third interstellar visitor, 3I Atlas, discovered in July 2025, has sparked great curiosity among researchers. Unlike its predecessors, 3I Atlas is significantly larger and, notably, displays the typical activity of a natural comet as it approaches the Sun. This may be the oldest interstellar object ever observed, carrying unprecedented clues about its formation history and its journey through the vast expanse between the stars. So far, observational data on the interstellar comet 3I Atlas has become increasingly detailed, especially regarding its orbital path which has astonished astronomers. The object was first detected by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas Station, in Rio Hurtado, Chile, as it was heading into the inner solar system at a distance of 4.5 astronomical units, about 670 million kilometers from the Sun, near Jupiter's orbit, 5.2 astronomical units. Remarkably, 3I Atlas, travels on an open hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it will pass through the solar system only once and never return. Its hyperbolic excess velocity has been measured at about 58 to 60 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, significantly faster than the two previous interstellar objects, 1I Oumuamua, 26 kilometers per second, and 2 Borisov, 32 kilometers per second, further confirming its origin outside the solar system. Even more unusually, its trajectory is retrograde, moving opposite to the direction of planetary orbits around the Sun and is almost perfectly aligned with Earth's orbital plane. In addition, it passes very close to the orbits of major planets such as Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. The combination of these factors, open trajectory, extreme speed, retrograde motion, and rare planet crossing geometry is estimated to occur with a probability of only about 1 in 20,000, making 3I Atlas an exceptionally rare phenomenon that has attracted great scientific interest and raised new questions about future interstellar visitors. According to experts, 3I Atlas is expected to reach perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, in late October 2025 at a distance of about 1.4 astronomical units. Speculatively, one hypothesis has been proposed by Professor Ovi Loeb of Harvard University, who believes that 3I Atlas could possibly have an artificial origin, perhaps a type of probe built by an extraterrestrial civilization and sent to survey the solar system. Based on this hypothesis, some suggest that 3I Atlas might take advantage of temporary solar occultation to alter its course and head toward Earth. After all, if it were a disguised technological object from an alien species, one could not rule out the possibility of it stealthily redirecting its mission toward our blue planet using some advanced form of camouflage. In line with this idea, Avi Loeb has not hesitated to offer some of the most intriguing and in-depth explanations. According to him, the change in angular momentum per unit mass needs to be of order 0.36 astronomical units where 0.36 astronomical units is the change in orbital radius required to get to the Earth's distance from the Sun, from the distance of closest approach of 3I Atlas, where 1 astronomical unit equals 149.6 million kilometers, and 68 kilometers per second is the speed of 3I Atlas at perihelion. The amount of fuel required for this maneuver depends on the mass of the mini-probe. The mini-probe can potentially reach the Earth within a few months after perihelion. Indeed, this is a very scientific explanation. It may be something hard to believe, but it is by no means impossible. The vast depths of outer space still hold countless mysteries for us, and we cannot deny that we are likely not entirely alone in that distant galaxy. Therefore, we must keep such possibilities in our calculations, even if we may not truly want to believe them. Of course, 3I Atlas will not stop there. According to scientists' calculations, after passing the Sun, 3I Atlas will approach Jupiter in mid-March 2026. With this timeline in mind, 
Avi Loeb reaffirmed his views during an interview with Fox 10 Talks, surprising us with a rather intriguing suggestion. Using the Juno spacecraft to intercept 3I Atlas, he revealed that Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna had reached out to him regarding matters related to 3I Atlas and his proposal to use Juno to investigate the object, rather than let its mission end by crashing into Jupiter, drew significant interest from her. Luna later posted a letter she had sent to acting administrator Sean Duffy on her ex-formerly Twitter account, attaching her message with a note of gratitude to Avi Loeb. Thank you, Avi Loeb, for your continued dedication to exploring our universe, she wrote. In summary, the involvement of Juno would undoubtedly be an immensely valuable contribution to both our research and our ability to mitigate potential risks in the future. After all, 3I Atlas is only the third interstellar object ever detected, and it was found just eight years after the first, an unprecedented frequency in the history of astronomical observations. The rapid and consecutive appearances of such mysterious visitors from beyond the solar system raise many still unanswered questions. The unusual orbit, velocity, and characteristics of 3I Atlas, as well as those of its predecessors, have prompted numerous in-depth analyses. However, in the case of the first interstellar object, 1I slash Oumuamua, scientists eventually ruled out the possibility of it being an artificial object, instead classifying it as an interstellar comet, a remnant planetesimal very similar to comets in our own solar system. For 3I Atlas, while its size is generally larger than Oumuamua's, detailed observations have also confirmed comet-like properties. The hypotheses and arguments remain, but in any case, we must continue monitoring it over the coming months to gather the most compelling evidence possible. Next, we want to delve deeper into the unusual morphological characteristics of 3I Atlas, Based on its reflectivity, the object's diameter has been estimated at up to 20 kilometers, more than 100 to 200 times the estimated length of Oumuamua, and 50 to 100 times the size of Borisov's cometary nucleus. If composed of rocky material, its mass would far exceed that of its two predecessors, potentially being over 10 million times greater than that of Oumuamua. Loeb notes, that the probability of detecting such a large asteroid within current survey limits is extremely low, only about 0.00001. For comparison, the asteroid responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was only about half this size. Furthermore, the observed brightness of 3I Atlas suggests a size far greater than that of a typical interstellar asteroid. Unlike ordinary comets, 3I Atlas also lacks the spectral signatures of cometary gases. Based on current data, Loeb's argument for an artificial origin grows stronger. However, many experts disagree with this hypothesis. Richard Moisel, head of planetary defense at the European Space Agency, ESA, told Newsweek, there is no evidence from current observations indicating a non-natural origin for 3I Atlas the vast majority of scientists also reject Loeb's interpretation, affirming that all of the object's behavior is consistent with natural causes. Chris Lintott, an astronomer at the University of Oxford, dismissed Loeb's claims as completely ridiculous and told Live Science that the alien probe hypothesis is an insult to the exciting work being done to understand this object. In essence, the scientific consensus is based on more than speculation. Spectral observations from ESO's Very Large Telescope and NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility in Hawaii indicate that 3I Atlas is indeed most likely a large comet. Researchers have identified water ice, organic molecules, silicates, and carbonaceous materials, all common in comets. Moreover, studying its ice layer has revealed an even more surprising fact. The water appears unusually pure, lacking the heavier isotopic signatures typically found in comets formed within the solar system. This is considered the ice core of 3I Atlas, bearing the unique chemical fingerprint of interstellar space 
and suggesting an origin and formation process distinct from comets in our system. In an interview with Fox 10 Talks, Avi Loeb also revealed that Hubble Space Telescope observations of 3I Atlas detected a puzzling glow, appearing in front of the object rather than behind it, as is typical for most comets. One possibility is that the front of the object facing the sun heats up more, causing sublimation. However, the problem is that no evidence has been found of the molecular species typically seen in cometary jets, nor of carbon-based molecules in that region. It may instead be dust rather than gas, which would be unusual. This is something we still need to understand. As it approaches the sun, higher temperatures may reveal more details about its true nature. Scientists are still trying to determine whether it might be an extraterrestrial object, and if so, whether it was launched from somewhere else or came from another planet. The nucleus of 3I Atlas is estimated to be between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers in diameter, with the most likely size being under one kilometer. As it approaches the sun, the object will continue to develop its distinctive dust cloud and tail, driven by the sublimation of surface ice. In addition, scientists have also identified evidence that reveals just how ancient 3I Atlas truly is, possibly predating not only Earth but even the solar system itself. Preliminary spectral analyses suggest that its surface ice has remained intact for over 7 billion years, meaning it formed before the Sun and planets even existed. Its chemical composition has changed little since its birth, making it a true time capsule containing pristine material from the earliest epoch of the universe. This raises profound questions. Where was it born? And how long did it drift through interstellar space before entering our view? Some hypotheses suggest that 3I Atlas originated from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius a region near the center of the Milky Way rich in stars, a supermassive black hole, and intense high-energy radiation. This area is notoriously crowded and turbulent, making observations extremely difficult. Researchers have not ruled out the possibility that it may have quietly slipped into the solar system years earlier, weaving its way among asteroids and interplanetary dust without leaving any obvious trace. The arrival of 3I Atlas, less than a decade after Umamua and Borisov, raises a major question. Is this merely a chain of coincidences? Or are we truly entering an era where interstellar visitors will be discovered more frequently? If this trend continues, it would mean that humanity may have missed countless similar objects in the past, simply due to the lack of sufficiently sensitive technology. In the coming months, 3I Atlas, will gradually pass behind the sun, receding farther and eventually disappearing from view, returning to the cold void of interstellar space. By then, we will have collected a wealth of valuable data. Yet, as with Oumuamua, the object's true nature may continue to elude us for decades or even centuries. It feels like a distant memory, a relic of the cosmos, or in a bolder scenario, a tool, a creation of an unfamiliar intelligence quietly surveying the solar system. The existence of 3I Atlas is a vivid reminder that the universe is anything but static. It is vast, ancient, and filled with phenomena far beyond our current understanding. Each visitor, like 3I Atlas, not only provides scientific data, but also challenges our imagination and pushes the boundaries of our exploration.